Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. My name is Cliff. I'm doing a series called 99 Problems, but my God ain't one. Um, I still push myself to do these videos, even though it's been a, a long and pressing uh, situation where um, I really don't have any hits or visitors coming to my channel. But I move forward in doing what I know the Lord is telling me to do and press into my heart. He's placed me in a in a, a fabulous situation where I'm not like a lot of these people on here uh, on YouTube um, needing to be pressed for income in a financial way to uh, do these things. The Lord has actually given me uh, a different way out and financial backing, so to speak, where I am able to uh, take the time and make these videos for um, viewers, people that are supposed to wake up and know that the Lord Jesus Christ is, is coming soon, like um, the scriptures say. Uh, all these things that you see in front of you, going on in your lives, um, are are meant for you to wake up. The Lord is plainly allowing these things to be witnessed so that you will know that the Lord Jesus Christ is real and that the things that were said in the Bible about um, the enemy um, that runs this world it will be plainly seen in the things that are going on in the world, the evil and the wicked things that um, move about. But the Lord gave you choice, free will, to um, say in your heart that you love Him and that He will save you by stating that you trust that He, Jesus Christ, died for your sins like my sins as well. Uh, right now this is in middle of April and uh, 2017 we have a president in the United States uh, President Trump and he's come in with his lies just like any other faction of government comes in with lies. I recently did a video just a little while ago about JFK and why they killed him. He wanted to let out secrets about uh, the New World Order agenda that was uh, that has been going on for over a, a couple hundred years and it's starting to conclude right now because um, the world is about to be brought down through the Third World War uh, the War of Armageddon it's actually already started, but um, they're just uh, making it seem like it's not really here. They're, they're attaching themselves to it right now, all the other countries, um, with the U.S. leading the way. Uh, the Russians are an opposition. They're a made-up opposition done by Satan. He has the tentacles to control all unions of, unions of the world and um, what you are and I are witnessing is just a, a movie like it's just a show there there's a bunch of puppets doing their play right now and you and I are witnessing and and a lot of people are really buying into it and 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 arguing about what the, the president and the vice presidents of the world should do and the, the prime ministers of another country should do and and it's all just um, uh, it's really a fake storyline and they're just going through the motions of what the higher levels of of the world banking system is uh, it orchestrating these people to do secret societies murderous societies and um, they have one agenda and that is to create a world where everybody is controlled by one. Uh, 
a lot of these things that you see on television are are true the things that they make you believe that it's just make believe and and you talk about science in a or technology in a way that is you know, really unbelievable and mystical but um, these people already can do these things uh, Tom Cruise uh, uh, goes into many of these movies like um, Minority Report where the governments pick up their their secrets um, uh, people of of um, crimes before the crimes actually happen and then we're at that state right now where people get judged for and killed for things that haven't even happened yet they just pretend and presume that someone's guilty before it actually happens and um, they're easily taken away from their families and and in some cases many cases even now are executed have we forgotten the lessons of history however quickly these block wars can be contained it's clear that they're becoming an epidemic an epidemic that should be dealt with immediately the only solution is a tougher criminal code. Our situation gets worse every day. 73 citizen riots in 16 different sectors in the last two months alone. Violent crime is rising at 15% every quarter. If we don't increase our resources, they will be inadequate. We need justice, the city is in chaos. For social order, we need tighter reins. Incarceration hasn't worked as a deterrent. I say we expand execution to include lesser crimes. Incarceration hasn't worked as a deterrent. I say we expand execution to include lesser crimes. Uh, Trump just released a bomb and in this um, puppet or fake world they they named the bomb Moab or mother of all bombs and this is what they want uh, the rest of the world to really believe but uh, if you know scripture which a lot of people don't most only even sorry uh, even Christians don't know what Moab means because they don't read the Bible they go to church and have the Bible read to them only small bits and pieces on a regular basis over and over like when Christmas comes around they start reading about the gospel and when Easter comes around they'll start reading about the, 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 the crucifixion of Christ but uh, years can go on for a long time and will they will not touch on certain parts of the Bible like uh, who who were the uh, Moabites and uh, this is what like I said um, Trump and his people named their bomb okay I'm going to read a piece of scripture here and it refers to who these people were they were actually the children of Lot and his daughter his first daughter um, Lot uh, was the nephew of Abraham and he was able to escape from the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and he was only left with his daughters and his daughters uh, slept with him while he was drunk. Let me read this piece of scripture what it says about uh, his children. God actually didn't um, wipe out his children he promised his him his family lineage a uh, piece of land but he also stated that they would not belong to his kingdom here it goes uh, it's Deuteronomy 23 and 3 and an Ammonite or Moabite those are the two children that were born to his two daughters from himself. Uh, an Ammonite 
or Moabite, shall not enter the assembly of the Lord, even to the tenth generation. None of his descendants shall enter the assembly of the Lord forever. Even in punishment, the Lord states to the Israelites when they did not honor him in worship or love him, in other words, he says that he would punish uh, the children going to the third and fourth generation. So, those that did not love him, um, their children will have a curse that would run um, four generations possibly. Here it says, ten generations long that the Moabites and the Ammonites would not be accepted by the Lord, any descendants of his, lots. So the Lord states here that this lineage of people who um, are saying that they're dropping a bomb on Afghanistan um, just a few days ago, maybe a little bit more than a week at this point, um, are doing. They're dropping a bomb. They named it and they said who they were, the Moabites. And they want to play it off like it's something else. Like they play off everything else in your television shows, like I just said, like it's something else. Like it's something that's not real. They, they play on words even in law and everything else. This is a lot for you to grasp, I know, but uh, a lot of my stuff on my channel is um, <laughs> way out there for anybody to grab. I'm not here to make anybody uh, like me. I'm telling you that the Lord says he's coming and you're supposed to know the cunning of the Satan, the one that uh, runs the world. The prince of the air. When Jesus um, pushed back the wind, when the, the the disciples got scared on on the boat, when it was getting rocky and the waves were crashing into the into the boat and and causing up a storm, and Jesus comes out and he and he pushes back and he commands the air and the sea to calm. Who do you think's moving the sea? Who do you think's moving the air? And why at that time? Because Jesus was in the boat. This, this stuff runs a lot deeper than you think. So, those are, this is what I would say, this is food for thought. Who do you think was pushing the air? Uh, and how is uh, the how is the Lord able to just say by a command of His mouth to stop and and it stop? Something in the air, something in the sea, has to be listening. Okay, so it's time for you to wake up. the The things that are not seen. Are more than what is seen. Jesus Christ is real and he died for you and me. It's time to turn to him and ask for repentance.